Hey guys, the only important statistic is the final score by Bill Russell. This quote is very relatable to many basketball players around the world, but others would not know exactly what this quote means. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to tell you about the world of basketball. Now, many people think of basketball as just as an American sport. It's predominantly played here, but many people around the world play the sport as well. Uh, today, I would also like to tell you about the NBA and what it means to not only to the fans and players, but to the future stars that have yet to even dribble on the NBA court. So let's go back in time for a little bit. When I was young, basketball was all around me, and yet I tried to ignore it. I remember, I remember my father watching a game, and it was with these two teams, the Chicago Bulls and the Orlando Magic. From that point forward, basketball piqued my interest. I began playing when I was nine years old. I joined the basketball camp to learn the basics. There was a bunch of kids there, all a uh, bunch of sizes, all sizes, small, tall, large, you know, and I was kind of like that one kid that couldn't really play. But the instructors kept telling me that you have a lot of heart, and that's what really mattered. See, in basketball, the fundamentals, you can pass the ball, you can shoot the ball, but no matter what you do, if you want to move, you must dribble. These moves anyone can do, but then it gets way more complicated than that. If you're interested in basketball, you would want to know also how to lay up, how to dunk, how to shoot three pointers, how to alley oop, and there's much more to it. While learning all the moves, you must know the rules too. Things like a foul, a travel, an out of bounds, a flagrant foul. It takes a lot of time to really know about basketball. Uh, it takes effort, it takes training, it also takes a lot of heart to play too. You have to be committed to the game. Um, over time though, I did step away from basketball. I eventually came back later, but that's another chapter. So, that's the referee. Keep going. Right, so now let's get into the NBA. The NBA is composed of 32 teams, each with their own style of play and their own story. You may have heard of some of these famous basketball players, such as you can see Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and over there Stephen Curry. These are the people that are that are named NBA superstars. These are the people that are the few elites that can play on the court. Predominantly, people look at these players and expect them to win championships. There are many more players that are very talented that people don't really know about. Such players like James Harden, Kawhi Leonard, Clay Thompson, Isaiah Thomas, uh, DeMarcus Cousins, Paul George, and Damian Willard. All players that only, I believe, fans will really recognize who they are, what teams that they play on. Um, also in the NBA, many comp companies like to endorse players. So as you can see from here, these are a pair of sneakers that Kevin Durant owns, the KD7s. And basically when you join Nike, you have this privilege to basically make your own Nike sneaker. Uh, there's also other companies <coughs> such as like Mountain Dew. And the only benefit from that is they give you extra money as well as giving you uh, fame, so to speak. Like you get to go on their, go on their commercial. So, not only does that happen, it will give you more popularity, possibly a rise in jersey sales, more money in your, in your pocket. Now, there is so much things that I can go into about the NBA. I could be here all day long telling you about the history here, the history there. So let me just wrap it up. The NBA has been going on for a very long time. Uh, amazing players that came and went, and there are many people that, sadly, they had to leave due to injury, gun charges. Uh, his name is Gilbert Arenas. He had to leave with a gun charge. That's Raymond Felton. 
worst players, basically an uh, uh, inconsistent level of play, you would basically get kicked out and you'd have to go play in some other country. That person right over there with the Cavs jersey, he actually plays in Canada now, sadly. And of course, drug users. So he's kicked out because he was, uh, he had possessed, he was dealing with hard drugs. He was just found with uh, marijuana. Now there's also something else that I also would like to show you and possibly I will show you after this speech is over. So, besides all that, let's continue. Those are, the, those are a couple of example of trades uh, that happened that changed the NBA and changed the, you know, the story of some players. Past that. Right, so, you ever heard the term ball is life? You know, some say that because it's their hobby, but for some other people, it's a fact. It's all they want to achieve in life. To play in front of thousands of fans every night and show the world that you are the next big thing in the NBA is what some of these players aspire to do. Uh, not only in the NBA, but many countries love the sport and have players in the same mindset. Some legends in the NBA, such as Dirk Nowitzki, Tim Duncan, Tony Parker, DK Mutombo, and Kyrie Irving, are all people from other countries that dominate the NBA. So, back to the quote from before. The only important statistic is the final score by Bill Russell. This is the guy, by the way. Um, this quote should be a bit more understanding now that I went through basically the basics of basketball and what it means to me and a few others. It means that the final score is what matters most, who wins and who loses. Uh, he was a man, this man basically was a man who won 11 championships as you can see from the amount of rings that he has on his hands. Winning is very vital to him, and it's basically vital to not, to just anyone that plays the sport very competitively. Basketball overall, it's a very good sport to watch and play. I hope everyone learns something a little about it. If you want to learn more, then ask me questions, and I'll try to answer. If not, then that's okay, but thank you for your time.